In today's world, great management is essential, but in this terrain, it's easy to get lost. Hi, I'm James Robbins, and I'm here to help you lead your people to the top. And this is Help Me Lead, the web show for managers. Hey, I'm here with Lynn Green, who is a sheepdog handler. And uh, Lynn today is going to tell us a few lessons that we can learn about leadership from sheepdogs because really when you're talking to sheepdog you have to lead one species to manage another. Well there is an interesting dynamic in this whole interaction between sheep and dog and handler and you're right it is cross-species communication. Now border collies have been bred for centuries to do this very job which is to manage the sheep. And the number one mistake that I see handlers make, that I myself have made, is to overhandle, to overmanage. And that's the thing I've learned is that respect is an integral part of this partnership. Right there, that I have to respect that my dog can handle the sheep, my dog has to respect the sheep, and my dog has to respect me that I am leading this whole enterprise in a certain direction. He knows what's going on out there at 400 and 800 yards, and I need to trust his instincts and let him handle that. And then when we are doing some, some maneuvers that the handler is supposed to direct, he needs to trust me and trust that I have a direction that we're going towards. So let's say you told me all the commands to say, and I just went in and started telling your dog what to do. Um, would they perform the same? Actually, no. This dog in particular, and every dog is an individual, and you have to respect their individual differences, the strengths they bring to it, and the weaknesses that they bring it well. This dog is very tied to me. Matter of fact, I doubt you could call him off of those sheep. And I had to work to build that relationship for him to trust me and to trust that we have a partnership and to work together. And so it's very individualized, but trust is a crucial element. And then obviously that takes a while to build between you and your dog. Right. It doesn't just happen instantly. No, not at all. Who knew you could learn so much about leadership from a couple of sheep dogs and one very fine sheep handler? There's a movie out called Hachiko, and it's a true story about a dog in the 1930s in Japan who faithfully waited at the train station every day for his master to come home from work. Well, one day his master dies and never makes it back, but Hachi the dog continues to show up every day at the train station for the next 10 years. Hachi became a national sensation in Japan and is a symbol of inspirational loyalty to this day. Loyalty is powerful, and when you can find ways to demonstrate loyalty to your employees, that you have their back and that you're invested in them, they will reciprocate by working hard for you. Meet Steve. Steve has a bad boss. And down the hall is Sally. Sally has a great boss. And this is Bad Boss, Great Boss. <laughs> Steve's boss is having a bad day. Williams, have you seen these numbers? Have you seen them? What are you doing over there in your department? You know, if you can't figure this out, I'm going to have to find someone who can put a decent report together. When Steve's boss has a bad day, everyone feels it. I can't feel my legs! Williams, are you listening to me? Oh, this is so frustrating. Sally's boss is also having a bad day, but she's very careful because she knows that her mood can really affect the team. Sorry for interrupting. Oh, no problem. But did you get the report I put on your desk? I did. Thank you so much. Okay, great. By the way, nice dress. Thanks. Hi, Rufus. I'm home. Hi, Rufus. Did you miss me? Oh, what a day. Not now, Rex. Be quiet. Get down. Bad dog, Rex. You're a bad dog. I'm sorry, Rex. Do you forgive me? I was behaving like my boss. What's that smell? Oh, who let a dog in here? Come